G'day, you'll never guess where we are today. We've headed south of the river down to Mandra. We thought we'd come and check out the Mandra 2020 boating, caravanning, fishing and four-wheel driving show. We're gonna to put together a little video and go and talk to a bunch of the exhibitors that are around here today and uh, see what's going on, check out the industry, see how uh, people are spending their money and getting out and wandering out yonder. When we've just rocked up, we found Craig from Dakar Tours. We're gonna to talk to him now. So oh, the pressure builds. Pressure builds. You want to have a crop? You want to? So, Craig, tell me about your tool business. Oh well, we're pretty new to the industry. We um, ran it with friends and family for about 15 years, um, trying to discover some of the most remote, rideable tracks uh, that we could find through yep. the Great Victoria Desert, etc. My business partner's based in Laverton, so we've made that our home. Yep. And uh, basically, the boys fly in, the bikes are lined up in front of the airport, and. Five minutes, later, five minutes later, they're in the middle of the Great Victoria Desert, riding for their life. Fantastic. Where are some of the places that you go? Where... Um, well, we follow the lake system heading out of Laverton down yep. into the Great Victoria Desert through uh, Plumridge Lakes District, yep. which brings you out down towards the South Australian border. Yep. And you drop onto the cliffs there on uh, the Great Australian Bight, and then follow the old telegraph track for three days back towards um, the WA end of the cliffs. Unreal. So you get some um, pretty saddle sore riders? Uh, the first question the boys ask is, uh, will my bum stand up to it? And um, we offer the puffy cushion on day one, but no, most of the boys are pretty good. Most of the boys by day four or five um, realise that it's not as big a venture as they first thought, and yeah, they're happy to get back on the bike every day. Fantastic. And you, your setup is amazing. This truck is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to do another story on this. This by itself is awesome. Um, good to see you got your TV working as well. Um, it's great. Tell me about the truck. Well, the truck came about as a bit of luxury. We ran the first um, near decade out of utes the size of the one behind us here. But after losing a few swags in the middle of Australia and um, just running out of space. Oh, where did you lose those swags? Uh, somewhere between uh, Plumridge Lakes and Cockabitty Pub. Right, right. Yeah, okay. so yeah. the boys had to draw a short shore and swear, uh, share swags a couple of times. Yeah. But um, yeah, we've moved from the utes into a big enough vehicle to be fully commercial. So early days it was probably sixes and sevens of friends and family. Yeah. And now we're out and being able to run a dozen. So you need the luxury of a thousand litres of water, a thousand litres of fuel, and some of the boys are keen on bringing a thousand litres of beer. Yeah, nice, nice. Well, thanks for your time. No, appreciate this it. This is great, and uh, good luck. We're looking forward to getting back out there. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks, Chris. Have a good one. Cheers, mate. So we're going to go and have a look around the show and uh, see who we can find and uh, have a chat to. Here we have X Games gold medalist and Red Bull X Fighters world champion Josh the Unicorn Sheehan performing gravity defying aerial stunts with fellow aerial artist Sean Lawrence. I taught these boys everything they know. That's a complete lie. I can't even climb a ladder without falling off, let alone stand on my head while 20 metres up, temporarily suspended in midair with a 90 kilogram motorbike as a parachute. We're here with Jimmy from Core Offroad at the Mandra Show. Um, Core have sort of exploded onto the market just recently and are bringing out a fantastic range of full drive accessories and full vehicle builds. Um, we first met, met Jimmy at the uh, Big Boys Toys in January. Yep. Jimmy, how are things going? Look, it's been unprecedented. Um, the reaction that we got after the Big Boys Toys with our product release in February was phenomenal. Um, we've got a heap of products that were meant to be released throughout this year. Due to the, the demand and sales, we've had to keep things on hold. Yeah, um, that busy. Look, we're, we're trying to manage it. We don't want it, so the customers have to then wait six months for their product. Yeah. You know, I put myself in the customer's shoes. If I was going to buy a new canopy, I just want I, it. Look, I want it. Yeah. Everybody does. And yeah. you buy something, you want it now. You don't want to wait. Yeah. You know, so we're really trying to manage the company in the way that, you know, we don't overexpand. Yep. You know, the biggest thing with a company when you grow too quick, the first thing that drops is quality. Yep. You know, so we're trying to limit it as much as we can. We have heaps of people say to us, I've never seen you before. Yep. You know, that's our doing. Yep. We're not trying to push too hard yep. because we want to keep the quality of our product up there. Since um, the last show, the, the range of products you've got here is amazing. It just seems to have also exploded. Yeah. So that's quite exciting. <laughs> look, well. it's, look, that's coupled, I guess, with kind of keeping things on the download. If yep. we were to promote uh, as much as what we probably should be, um, um, you know, we would have too many orders that we could deal with. Yeah. You know, um, there is, 
the amount of builds that we've been pumping out lately, um, whether it was the black and orange 79 series, we just finished another one, we've got sandy torps coming through, we've got a heap of ranger builds. Um, look, there is quite a few coming through. Amazing, um, very and exciting. I'm proud to, to see and show what our company's yeah. pumping out. Unreal. Definitely. So, well, Jimmy, thanks for your time no, no. and have a really good show. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Midway Marine have boats, boats, boats. They've got big boats, medium boats, smaller boats, white boats, silver boats, boats with stripes and boats with shiny things. Can you believe this boat is towable? Two Oceans Tackle had this monster of an ocean explorer on display. With several vehicles on display showcasing their work, the team at Automotive Inspection Services had a great range of off-the-shelf full drive accessories as well as custom equipment to suit your requirements. Our seat cover of choice, Superfit, locally owned and locally made. Tough and comfy gear for your rear. There was a wide range of camper trailers to view, including the range from Eagle Outdoors, who are also an agent for Australian-made Ultimate Campers. Looking a bit like the tide has left all of these boats high and dry, or someone has stolen all the trailers, Mandra Outboard had a large selection of boats and outboard motors, as well as all of your essential equipment to make your next water adventure safe and enjoyable. These looked interesting, Australian made, lightweight and dust proof trailers for carrying all that gear away on your next adventure. More versatile than a dedicated camper, something to consider. I'm here with Matt from Campright Campers, which is a WA built, uh, family owned camper trailer business who produce a fantastic product. Matt, how's the show going for you? Uh, busy morning, really busy morning. A bit quiet this afternoon, which is a good bit of, bit of relaxed time. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's been pretty hectic for a Friday. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday should be, yeah, really good. Why should people buy a camp ride? Um, but basically, the, the very one of the last ones left, an Aussie made camper, and you, you know, they're built here in Wangara, or Perth, Wangara. Yep. They're the only trailer that will comfortably sleep up to sort of four kids, two adults off the ground without any more fuss, you know, setting up extra rooms and stuff like that. Yep. Um, and being local too, we can offer obviously next level service that you know, sort of others I suppose can't. You know, yep. being hands on in the manufacturing of the trailers, I think makes a big difference too. And because you guys build these things from start to finish, don't that's, you? That's right. Yeah. So we're all hands on. Myself, my brother. Um, we're sort of yeah. We're, we're doing everything. Everything you see here, we've been hands on in, in part of the process. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're built like tanks. They're absolutely amazing. I just think they're a, a fantastic product, and it's a locally built product. Australian made, West Australian made, family owned. If you're looking for a camper trailer, this is what you need to look at. Hi oh, hi, don't mind us. Luxury on wheels. Taking your road trip adventure to the next level. Bobby, get away from the mirror. ARV teamed up with the guys from Red Ark and Hema to showcase their massive range of four-wheel drive accessories and adventure gear. Here we have a huge awning attached to one of Lazy Lizard's campers on display. A nice spacious bed with plenty of ventilation. It even has a slide-out kitchen to make whipping up a Master Chef inspired dish a breeze. Yes Bobby, it's a 79. Yes Bobby, it has six wheels. No Bobby, you can't buy it. West Oz Camper Trailer are your one-stop camper shop. Say that three times fast. Located in Malaga, they are the stockers for Darche 4x4 Touring, 
Platinum, Hardcore and Eagle campers, as well as offering camper trailer hire. Trackstar import a range of camper trailers which they had on display at this year's show with something to suit every budget. We're here with Josh from Cool Beans Campers. They're a great little retro looking camper built in Fremantle, hand built. Josh, tell me a bit about Cool Beans. Okay, so um, not much to tell you except for basically we started to build something that we wanted to use. Um, we've always loved the teardrop shape and all that sort of stuff and we can never really find one in 2019. We launched and we won best new product for design and quality at the Claremont um, show. Brilliant. So, so best new product for there, and then we took out the um, best commercial product at the 2019 Royal, Royal, you know, Royal Show, so we're pretty happy with that. Fantastic. The, the finish on them is amazing, like you look at the kitchen and the, the finish is just absolutely beautiful, and the, the lines on these things are just, it's, it's almost nautical. Is there a background of... Well it comes back from um, you know, marine construction, marine installation, which I've been involved in basically my whole life since I was 15. And then Wade, my business partner, Wade, Wade Ellis, um, very, very high quality kitchens. Um, he's been involved in for the last 30 years. So we've put those two backgrounds together to build cool beans. Yep. And, um, and yeah, you can't fault the, the stainless steel, the big heavy duty stainless throughout. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, they're going to last and we hope they'll be a collectible one day. Yeah, they're absolutely amazing. And uh, a four wheel drive option. Come and yeah. check them out. This one was a lot bigger than the one from my diving days. Sometimes referred to as the four-wheel drives of the sea, Leisure Cat make a seriously tough trailable boat. Stainless Alloy Manufacturing are a local Mandra business producing some fantastic vehicle modifications and touring fit-outs. Get in touch with the owner Chris and let your imagination run wild. These were pretty cool, like the TARDIS. Small on the outside, but on the inside they just kept going. More luxury on wheels. I have a soft spot for these as this was our first real caravan. The big red certainly grabs people's attention when you roll into a campsite. Just talking to the team at West Coast 4x4 made me feel exhausted. This family run business is not only the local Ironman distributor, but they're also the agents for Polaris, Kawasaki, Holden and a few other brands I think I've missed. And now we're here with Levi from Avan, he's the dealer principal for the Perth and Bunbury stores. Avan are an Australian built van and very lightweight. What can you tell me about the, uh, the Avans Levi? Yeah sure, uh, well the lightweightness is probably the most key aspect of our product. We use what's called an aluminium sandwich panel, very unique to what we do. Uh, it's a one piece panel, it's an inch thick and it's fully insulated. So it's very high end in the market, uh, we build it in our own factory, it's definitely probably the best insulation qualities and lightness on the market you can find. And it's an Australian built van built in Melbourne? Yeah, all of our products are made in Melbourne, but what you'll find, probably a big point of difference as well, is uh, the guys at Avan, they have a European background, so you'll find a lot more European fittings and fixtures into our vans rather than your Chinese sort of products. So you've got that luxury feel in an off-road van that can be taken anywhere? Absolutely. Luxury is, is the key of the Golf range, uh, and then we like to we liken that to sort of like your Lexus product, yeah. and then our Avan is probably more like your Toyota. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Thanks for your time. Pleasure, thank you. When your deck is looking a little tired, then it's time to love your deck with deck armour. Peel 4 Wheel Drive Centre are the local TJM dealer and carry the full range of 4x4 accessories and solutions. Keep the kids safe in this canopy. Wait, fur kids? As if I would. Twenty twenty Mandra boats, caravans, four wheel drives, and fishing show. We hope you've enjoyed it. We've uh, we've had a good look around the show this year and seen a lot of money being spent. People are really keen to get out and explore, and uh, it's exciting to see. And it's really good to see that businesses are doing well. 
So get out there, get exploring, stay safe, and we'll see you on the tracks.